Let's talk today a little bit about outfits, and I'm going to show two outfits that I've created kind of recently and I've enjoyed using. These are outfits that are meant to evoke historical characters that actually aren't part of the Old West per se. So Red Dead Redemption nominally takes place in 1899, although they're hand wavy with a lot of things, and there's horse breeds, for example, that are much later than 1899, and there's buffalo herds that are more like what you'd expect to see in the 1870s and you know there's there's it's a little hand wavy but nominally it's in 1899 um the first character i'm going to show you how to make is davy crockett who was from much earlier than that he died in the texas revolutionary war of course in the 1830s davy crockett is famous for wearing buckskin coonskin cap and uh, my character is not meant to look exactly like Davy Crockett. He's meant to be a guy who's cosplaying, if you will, Davy Crockett. Because I don't want to mess with the appearance. Uh, I just want to mess with the clothes. So I did not give him long, dark hair like Davy Crockett should have. The basis of the Davy Crockett outfit is the Monterey, which is a trader outfit. And it's the tier one trader outfit that you get pretty early on when you start trader. So what you need to do is go to, you need to have 500 bucks to start with. You also need to have the raccoon hat and it is no longer available. It's one of those limited time things that comes and goes. I did manage to snag one when it showed up a month or two ago. If you do not have one, you're gonna have to wait and hope it comes up again. Um, but <clears throat> that's really kind of the basis of it is, is two different Monterey outfits and a raccoon hat so you need to have a fair bit of money the monterey outfits are 250 dollars each if you buy the the basic default one that your cursor starts on when you first select the monterey outfit you want to buy that one and then you want to buy the one with the kind of medium or to dark blue shirt because it also has a pair of pants that look the same they're the same color same kind of buckskin color as the default outfit so what you do is you know of course the trader outfits you can't break them up but you can use top half and bottom half across trader outfits so what you want to do is the top half with the buckskin shirt and then the bottom half with the buckskin pants and then stick your raccoon hat on and voila you got it it's it's pretty much davy crockett there's a few other things you can do with it the raccoon hat already makes it uh, normally the Monterey is a hot weather outfit. The raccoon hat makes it average. I found that I could not put any gloves on, which is one of the only other things you can do to customize the roll outfits. But if I put any gloves on at all, I ended up bumping it from average to cold. So that didn't work. But if you, so I left the gloves off. You could put rings on. I've got four rings to choose from. I didn't even think of doing that. I should go put some on. You can put um, I wear on so you know again my character um, I kind of stick with the same gross physical appearance I don't change his hair because it's a bounty hunter haircut and it costs actual gold and I'm a cheapskate so I don't want to change it uh, I don't want to change the color of it I don't want to change any of the other features of his face I do occasionally come and go with beards usually I keep them with the stubble uh, and I like to have him wear some kind of eyewear just because I, I just do. It's kind of just an affectation of mine. So I put the brass spectacles on, but of course you don't want to do it. If you want them to look like Davy Crockett, you want to be relatively clean shaven or maybe stubbly. I mean, I know he was kind of an outdoorsman. Even if he kept it clean shaven, he probably at least had a five o'clock shadow, if not a five day shadow going most of the time. So you want to probably put the stubble or clean shaven and you want to have some long kind of dark hair, um, and you're good to go with the raccoon hat and, and this buckskin stuff. You can also do some other things to just give it a little bit of variety. There's another buckskin that's lighter that I actually like better, but unfortunately there's no pants that match it, at least not in you know the trader outfits. And if they ever give us the ability to break down the outfits, I would use that shirt with a totally different pair of pants and, and do all kinds of stuff with it. So I've got some video here also of an outfit that I made with that shirt and pants that are actually from a different trader outfit. And I messed around with some other pants. I actually have some blue and white striped ones that I kind of like, although they 
with a shirt somehow they end up looking like some kind of Davy Crockett pirate. I don't, I don't know why it's it's a weird look, um, but yeah, it's a you can mess around with it to give it a little bit of variety by changing the colors of the tops and by putting some different pants on. But the two that I picked will give you the classic buckskin look. The other thing that you can change besides gloves, hat, and eyewear, of course, is your weapon equipment. And you can't put bandoliers on, but you, your gun belt and your holster you can change. And I think what is entirely appropriate for this one, of course, is the Goodman gun belt and holster. There's a lot of colors for it. I actually only have one. I haven't gotten around to getting multiple colors of the Goodman. But the one I have is perfect. It's kind of just a regular brown leather. I also decided to do it without a buckle, which is unusual. I almost always put buckles on, but in this case, the without a buckle look looks an awful lot like the belt that is included over the shirt. And so there's two of them that are, you know, stacked on top of each other. It's a real shame, again, that we can't break these outfits down. If we could, I would totally use the buckles, but most of the roll outfits seem to have belts and, and you just can't get belts. There's no other way to get belts. There was a belt in one of the outfits of the Outlaw Pass, the first one, and that's the only belt that's available in the game. But if we could break these outfits down, we would have belts. There's a belt on this outfit, actually. It's a pretty good looking one. So, you know, again, doing the Goodman gun belt, the brown one, although, you know, you can do whatever you want with that, I guess, and doing it without a buckle gives you the perfect look. All right, other than that, I think I'm gonna shut up for a minute here and let you watch my character in his alternate Davy Crockett. This is actually the first one I made, and I had played around with trying to do something with these roll outfits besides just wear them. And unfortunately, there's you know very limited things you could do. I had actually used this shirt that you're looking at right now, along with a pair of pants from, I think it was the tier four, Maybe it's either the tier three or the tier four trader outfit that, like I said, they were blue and white striped. And I had the Pittman hat, which is kind of a colonial tricorn hat. And I had actually kind of considered that a, a very rough approximation of Daniel Boone, who was a much earlier character in our history than Davy Crockett. But I decided, you know, hey, I got a raccoon hat. Why not do Davy Crockett? He's a better option anyway so that's what i ended up doing and that's what you're getting but you know have a look at this character running around at emerald ranch in an alternative version of the outfit
Now let's um, turn to making a revolutionary war hero or character, I guess. And I'm using in particular as my inspiration for this, the, an image of General George Washington in his military uniform. If you just do a Google image search of George Washington, you probably find him in a black suit with a white um, shirt. And that's an, a common picture of him either swearing in as the first president or something like that. But if you look for General George Washington, you'll get where one where it shows him wearing kind of beige, tan, or yellow with a blue military coat. And that's kind of the look that I was trying to go for. So what I did here is I started this outfit with a white French shirt, dress shirt, and it's a pure white one. I actually got this with an outfit, I think. That's why it's not in the same category as my other French dress shirts, but you should be able to find it. It's just a white French dress shirt. They're fairly common and fairly cheap. Um, I put him with a, in, in the picture, you really kind of want a white ruff of some kind, and there is no, there's no neckwear that's white. You could go with a silver puff tie, which would probably be the closest. I decided to go with a red just to give it a little bit of color, make it pop just a little bit, because I have a tendency to do too much leather and black and white and gray. So I went with a red puff tie, but any puff tie will do. Um, you want the paisley vest, and there's two different yellow ones. I think the lighter of the two looks a little bit better, so that's the one I used. And then um, for pants, you want the tuxedo pants, and there's a beige or tan one that looks almost the exact same color as the vest. And so that's kind of the basic outfit. Then you want some tall black boots. I went with the sportsman's boots because they kind of have a they look less cowboyish and they seem to fit a little bit better plus they're tall and they're black and they kind of had like i said more of a colonial look to them and then of course the pitman hat and if you don't have the pitman hat i'm sorry you can't get it it's basically the same as the tricorn hat from single player except it is you know tan colored it's not black with a gold rim like the tricorn hat i kind of wish it was i like that better um for coats this one was a little hard because there's no coat that's really exact and I tried a lot of the longer tail coats I tried the f different versions of the frock coat the shotgun coat and you know, some other long ones and they didn't quite look right and what I ended up deciding on using was the <clears throat> hunter jacket and there's a blue one that has kind of a a gold or, or leather colored um, the inside of it is that color and because you can see it on the collar and on the edge and it's got kind of brass buttons. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. And I think if you look at the video of my character running around in this outfit, you'll probably agree. It, it kind of it kind of works. It, it doesn't look quite right from behind. It is long, but it isn't like really as long as it's supposed to be. And it doesn't really kind of have exactly the same look. It doesn't have epaulettes, obviously. N none of the outfits do. But it, it still kind of works. And then I, you know, like I said, I got the Pittman hat. I went with the white riding gloves. Uh, you could do whatever you want with gloves. This one is a hot weather outfit, but if you put warmer gloves on, I'm sure you could turn it into a cold weather outfit. And you could do other things too. I mean, you could put the Hershaw gauntlets on underneath and they wouldn't show and they would also make it a little bit warmer. And you know, you could probably find a warmer white shirt than besides the French dresser, although I think the French really looks the part right. Um, and then there's a few things you can do with hair. I didn't, like I said, I didn't change my hair, but you could do the curly afro, believe it or not, with pomade. Kind of looks like a George Washington haircut, and if you made that white, you would have a very George Washington look. I think a better approach would just to be the rough tied with hair pomade and it would give you this kind of colonial, um, you know, this colonial pigtail kind of look where they had the, the longer hair that was tied in the back. And it was very, very common in colonial times. And so I think that would actually look really good. Curiously, I started my character with that when I couldn't afford to get, you know, and obviously a bounty hunter haircut. That's the one I started with and I had it for quite a long time. Um, like I said, I, I'm not so invested in this outfit that I'm going to go change my hair to get it. But if you really want it to, to look the right part, that would be a colonial haircut. This would be a pretty good colonial looking guy.